Is Pamela Blanchard? Is this the side eye? Do I have it? Is that down pat? Hi, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today is the haul video. Yesterday was the shop with me at Trader Baker's in Martinsville, Indiana. I, I will link the shop with me down in the description below so you can go back and watch that as I was gathering up these lovely things. But let's go ahead and show you what I got. Um, maybe I should start off with showing the one thing. Yeah, just one thing. Just the one thing that I am keeping, and that is this girl. She, I don't know what this, I think, is this supposed to be her veil? I don't, I don't understand, because it's just kind of hanging there, but I'm probably just going to take that off, because I don't think that it really necessarily goes with her. She, to me, she looks like a Campbell Soup girl. She was $5.99. Look at her little face. Now this, Miss, Miss Pamela, Miss Pamela Blanchard, is this the side eye? Do I have it? Is that down pat? But she, she's got some serious side eye. I'm, I'm looking to see, I didn't even look to see if there was any, who she was made by or anything. Oh, she's dated 1997. So my guess is that she is a Campbell Soup girl. Why do you have, she's got all kinds of things going on around her neck. I'm not quite sure about that girl, but I'm going to rescue you from this, whatever that is. But I'm just going to add her to my own little collection. Campbell Soup, she is a Campbell Soup girl. This is not, I don't think that this is her original dress because the dress to me says that it's it speaks to me that it's a little older than 1997 but i'm going to clean her up and i'm going to add her to my collection of dolls and i think that's the only thing i'm keeping i said two things but this is it this is the only thing i'm keeping everything else is for sale now most of these things will be available during my live sale but if you see anything that you are interested in you can always send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. We can talk about the details and I can sell it to you before it goes on the live sale as long as I've not taken a picture of it or have posted it that it will be available in any other way. There may be, there may be a couple things that I'm only going to sell in my live sale. So just, and I'll let you know those things in advance when I show them to you. Like example, this is one of the things that I will be saving for my live sale. And that is this beautiful set of footed tumblers. They are uranium glass. They don't have any maker's mark on them anywhere. They do glow. They were, there are four of them. They have this kind of, it almost kind of looks like snake skin. A little bit of like a snake skin design. Little, little parfait glasses. I got the set of four of them for $9.53. Some of the pricing didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but $9.53 for the set of four footed uranium glass tumblers, and they will be available during a live sale. So I did pick up this, uh, it looks like a sampler. However, if you look really, really close, it is made, and you're not gonna, probably still aren't gonna be able to tell just by looking at it on the screen, but it was made like they used a marker and they, it's not stitched, but you honestly cannot tell from far away. You really have to get up really close and look at it. Um, it is a painted cross stitch picture and it was $2 and 23 cents. So that was a pretty good price. And when I sell it, I will offer the frame, um, but I can sell it, you know, out of the frame as well. All right, and I also got this cute little enamel pot. I like the blue. It was $5.99. Just a nice, cute little enamel pot with the lid. Normally, I don't find them with a lid, but I thought this one was really cute with the lid, so I got that. And I got this ashtray for $2. It is made in Japan, but it is Florida and it's got the gator on it. Just an, a neat little kitschy souvenir piece. It's GF made in Japan. It's in really good condition. You know, you can keep it your little trinkets in there. If you like gators, you like gators and you like Florida, then you can keep your little trinkets 
in there. I got that. I got, what else did I get? That's kind of, I don't think I got any other ashtray things. Typically I get several, but I didn't this time. I did get a thermos. It's a little dirty. I'm going to clean it up. It was $3.25. I like the green and the orange. Halloween is now past, but this would be a great addition to a Halloween display. It is, I think it has, I mean, it's very rusted on the inside. You will not want to keep anything, not a thing in this, but you can use it to decorate with. There we go. Just a fun little piece for a display. Um, I did get a couple planters. I love this one. I do believe um, that this is probably Shawnee. It was $4.95 for the little Shawnee chick planter. Isn't she so happy? Really good for spring. Just a fun little girl. I just love how happy she is. She's got little flowers on her head. She's very, very happy. And I'm happy that I was able to buy her. I did get this little wall planter. And it was $2. It's just a USA pottery. So is she. She was, I believe that that is Shawnee. So that is also an American made pottery as well as this one. Now this is a planter wall pocket. And it probably, I do believe it came with at least two other ducks. Um, but this is the only one that I found, but I still liked the coloring in it. It very, it, it looks very much like Royal Copley. I, I don't think that it is, but it could be American Bisque. It is marked USA on the back. It doesn't have any flaws on it. So I thought $2 was a great price for that. And I got another Royal Copley teddy bear. Now this was $6. So I did, I did pay up for, for this little guy. But this is, I've sold these before, and I think that they are adorable. And I know that Michael from the Cult of Vintage just sold one uh, a couple weeks ago during our live four-way sale. So the cute little bear, it is Royal Copley. He doesn't have any flaws on him. So cute. Oh, he's just so cute. I just couldn't resist his little face. So I got that. And then I picked up. A Tanala bird. This was four dollars. They just they just marked it colorful bird. It's a Tanala bird. It's like a little pigeon. It has a beautiful paint job there of another bird. So this is Tanala, or it's a it's a Mexican pottery. These are pretty pretty collectible. So I like to pick these up. They're really kind of unsuspecting. You wouldn't like if you see these. You kind of you may not even look twice at them. But there is a collector's market for them, especially if they are signed. This one is not signed, but it has beautiful crazing on it. It is an older piece. So I thought it was very, very pretty. Not unless there's a signature on the bottom. No, it, well, there is a signature of some sort, but I don't know what. I don't know what that is. All right. Um, I picked up this was two dollars and i just liked it i think that this would be great it's a little it's an it's a vintage ice bucket but i think you could use it for a planter or i don't know but it says booze is the only answer booze isn't that fun booze is the only answer y'all it's the only answer so you can put your little ice in there and have little tongs and serve for a party, or you could put a plant in it. You could put little shot, those little bottles of booze in it when you have a party. I liked it. You could drink out of it, I guess, if you wanted to, but it doesn't have any maker's mark on it, but I just thought it was fun. Booze is the only answer. It was $2. And I like $2, so I bought that. I got this cup that I think that I'm going to give to somebody. Um, as a gift. It was $3 and it is a vintage Hale Purdue uh, cup. And we are Purdue fans. Boiler up. So I'm going to give this to somebody as a gift. So it was $3, but I'm going to give that to so someone. So I guess in a sense, I'm keeping that. It's not for sale. I guess it's, it's 
that's not for sale. I did pick up this going on the complete opposite end of Purdue is this IU uh, teacup. I, I got this one because, let me go over here and get them too. Here's the cup and I'm going to walk over here. It's a restaurant where, this is Indiana University. It is Shenango. And I do believe, I do have a saucer. I have two saucers actually. This one, this is Homer Laughlin and this one is Shenango. But I thought maybe I had a saucer that went with the cup. I mean, they kind of go, ooh, ooh. They kind of go, they're both IU and Indiana University, but this one's Homer Laughlin. This one is Shenango, but this one isn't a teacup plate. It's more of a bread plate. So I don't quite know, I might, and this one is white and these are off-white. So you know what, they don't match. They don't match at all, but I thought maybe they would. Um, so these restaurant wear Indiana University pieces, I will probably put up on eBay. All right, next I got this little Pekingese dish for 53 cents. I don't understand. Maybe there's a reason why they price things at kind of an odd, maybe it has something to do with their commissions or I don't know. Just seems like an odd uh, pricing system. But it is uh, Beirut. It's Roy it's just it's made in Bavaria, Germany, but it's this little Pekingese. What kind of dog is that? Is that a Pekingese or a Shih Tzu or I don't know, but it's just a little trinket tray. Is that gonna focus? There we go. Little trinket dish. I thought there are people who want stuff like this. So this was 53 cents. So I, I thought that was I'm sure I can find somebody that will love that or has a dog like that and they really, really want that. And now I have it and I can sell it to them. Um, next I have this old time Christmas mix tin. Now this that doesn't have a barcode on it. So it is, you know, it is vintage. Um, I have one of these that I put a poinsettia flower in. It's just a fun little, little tin that you could add to your Christmas decor. So a little faux poinsettia plant in here looks really nice. It has all the ribbon candy on it. So I got this, I don't even remember what I paid for. I think, oh, here it is, $1.50. It was $1.50 for the tin. And I got some, oh, I got one set of salt and pepper shakers. I'm a little shocked too. This one, I paid $3.99 for these. And I have seen these, I see these a lot, but I mainly see them, and I hate that they're taped together. I mainly see them as singles. Actually, I think I have a single of one of them. I'm gonna to try to be very careful taking this tape off because the tape will take off the paint. I normally find these as singles. I very rarely find them together. This is Willie and Millie, the little plastic penguins. Now, when I do find them, typically the paint is pretty well gone from these because everything but the black paint is will wash off, will wash away, especially the red, especially the red. But look at Millie. She's just clenching her pearls. Willie must have done something. Look at him. He's like, I don't know. And she's like, yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> mm, you know, that's how I am. Because she's just like over it. She's over Willie's nonsense. Over it. These were $3.99. They do have their stoppers. So I thought they were fun. And I like that they were still, the paint job was still pretty, pretty good on those. I got this is a piece of hammered aluminum. And I, it kind of looks like a taco a little bit. It looks like a little silver taco. But people do like these to put their mail or vintage letters and things like that. So I did get this because I think that people will, will want it for that. It was $3. It's actually a napkin holder but you can put vintage postcards or letters in that. Very lightweight, I thought that was really pretty. Um, I also picked this up for a dollar. Now, I know that Jeffrey from Real Nifty Vintage has been selling dollhouse miniatures. This was a dollar. It's still in the box. It's made by the House of Miniatures. It's a Chippendale nightstand, but it's never been taken out of the box. 
I don't know if it's worth anything. Maybe it's just worth a dollar. I don't know, but I thought I'd give it a try for a dollar. So we'll we'll see how that goes. I also got a rest, piece of restaurant wear. It's, it says small restaurant wear creamer. It is ba made by My Mayor China. I like the flowers on it. So I've been picking these up if they have some sort of design on it. This was just plain white. I probably would leave it behind. Although people are doing crafty things with the plain white restaurant wear. They're um, using their crickets and putting like holiday stencils and stuff on them. So that's kind of interesting to do. Um, or they'll make um, kind of different Pyrex patterns and stuff and put them on this restaurant wear just to add for deco decor in their home. So that might be an idea on some of this plain white stuff. And I got a lot of it. So I might have to do something like that. But I thought this was really pretty. And it's Mayor China. Um, I got this for $2. I just think that it's so neat. It's a little like apothecary jar. And it's got tape on it too. There are a lot of taping going on. There's a lot of taping going on in that place. I think. Okay. It was $2, but it's a little apothecary jar and they've got cotton balls in it, but it has the full glass stopper, which I like. I love that sound. But you could use this in a bathroom vanity. It has pink and gold in it. There's no maker's mark on it, but for $2, it's definitely worth it. There's no dings or flea bites in the lid or on the rim of it. Very, very mid-century, so I like that a lot. I also got some chalkware. I got some fun chalkware. I got these cute little chalk skunks. They do both have their hangers on the back. Now, there would have been a mama skunk with them, but the mama has left. She's left the babies behind. But their paint job is still really, really good on them. They were $4.57 for the two little skunks. So maybe someone out there has the mama and they need the babies. And I got the babies. So maybe they can be reunited one day. And then I got this one. I paid $5 for this chalkware rooster. And it's got the little pot holder hook on it. And it's in really good condition, really good condition on this guy. And I paid $5 for it, and it was marked Old Rooster Hanger. You're a good bird. Speaking of good birds, I got this. Uh, it is a uh, girly turkey. I have to double check to see if I need to keep him because I do have a little collection of these going on. Now, this was a dollar and 13 cents. I don't know. But he does have a little chunk out of the front of his legs. But I'm still gonna pay a dollar 13 for them. I have a turkey thing. And stay tuned because this week I'm going to be working on my turkeys, getting them out for display. So he's gonna get added to my turkey flock, my flock of turkeys. All right, I also picked up an M.A. Hadley bowl, and this is adorable. It was $4, and it says, all gone. Isn't that sweet? So it's got a boat and a person and a, I don't know what that is, a car. I don't know what this is supposed to be. That looks like a person of some sort. Then it has this anchor and the waves all gone. It's made by M.A. Hadley. Oh, I just thought it was so sweet. I loved it. It was $4. And then I got some Hager. Now, I'm really excited about one of these pieces, but these are the Mauve Agate uh, candlesticks. They are Royal Hager Plume Mauve Agate candle holders. I got the, the set of them for $12. They're in beautiful condition. No chips, cracks, or flaws on them. They are Royal Hager. They have their sticker on them. I'm probably, I need to, I need to figure out if I'm going to put, I might just put these on eBay. Um, I think I might, it might attract more of a collector's market for this mauve agate. It's not everybody's jam. I know, I know Mary Beth, actually Laura collects the mauve agate 
Um, but it, you know, it, it isn't for everybody. And, you know, that turkey isn't for everybody either, but I love it. So, you know, we all have different tastes, but these are beautiful. So I did pick these up. I paid $12 for the set. And then I got this. And I also paid $12 for it, but it is the Hager logo planter. It is marked Hager on the bottom. It's this beautiful kind of a pumpkin orange fire glaze. Um, it yeah, it just says Hager logo sign, $12. Now I have seen these on eBay and they, they have sold between $60 and $80. So $12 is paying up for me. Let me just tell you, it is paying up for me. But I know I can turn a profit on this, and it's it's just really cool. I love it. I love it. So the rest of the things that I got are linens. I got a lot of linens on that day. What? So let me start. I got a couple aprons. These aprons, let me move my trash out of the way. Well, this was $2.25 for this nice little sheer apron with the crisscross um, knitted, crocheted, what is that? Needlepoint, needlepoint flowers. This was also $2.25. I love that it's just it, the pink and the black rickrack together. This one's kind of has a little swirly kind of flower petal trim on the bottom of it. And I got some really cool linens. I mean, really cool. Now I paid $8 for this one. This is a big tablecloth. Did they write the size on here? Oh, they did. Yay. It's an 84 by 86. It's big. It's a big table cover. And it has this lace trim. But the tablecloth itself has all these birds on it. It has these needlepoint birds all around the sides and in the middle. It's just birds, 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 bluebirds everywhere the eye can see. So it's a big tablecloth and it's got these needlepoint birds on it. Now it does have some issues like right here. It's got some tears, but I, again, I, I'm the weird one that I think that that tells the story, but it's 84 by 86. That's a big tablecloth. So I did pay $8 for that, but I know that somebody will love this. Oh, they're so pretty. Those bluebirds. I like the bluebirds of happiness you can put on your table. All right, so that, and then, oh my gosh, this tea towel. I think you're a tea towel. It was $2.25. Well, they said, it says tea towel, but I think that's like card table cloth because it's too big to be a tea towel. Yeah, it's like a card table size, but look at what's on it. It's only on one corner, and it's a little pooda snooda with scissors. What are scissors and a rug? Oh, she's so. Are you sewing? She's sewing with her sunglasses on. Look at her little poofy tail. <laughs> she's so cute. She's a working poodle. They're putting that poodle to work. She must sit there and sew with her sunglasses on all the live long day. So I thought that was really cute. And then I got this little tablecloth. It was $2. Really pretty with these flowers all along the side. And this one's just fun. I paid $6 for this one. And it has some holes in it, but I like that it's red and white. That's just That just says vintage kitchen to me. I don't know why, but red and white. And it's got these roosters on it it's a long it's a long tablecloth I'll get the measurements but what is that on the top there oh that's the farm it's got the farm and then it has these roosters all along the side in their little rooster pen so I don't know I just liked it it's something different that I haven't seen before so I did pay six dollars for it so there's not gonna be a whole lot of room probably for me to turn a profit on that but I I I, I, I just couldn't resist it. Then I got this. This one is really cool. Oh my gosh. I paid $4 for this. 
but I think that this would be great framed in a laundry room, but it is a vintage canvas laundry bag. See, and it has the drawstring right here and it's needle pointed laundry. And it's got the poor mother with all the laundry on her head. So I just think that would be neat framed and hung in a laundry room. I liked it. And I just haven't seen anything like that before. And sometimes, you know, you just, you get things that you haven't seen before. This, this one, I paid $8 for this. This was my favorite one. Wow. Let me, it is a tablecloth full of cherries. Oh my gosh. It's just cherries, cherries and cherries all around. I paid $8 for it. It's a 43 by 46. Does everything have a size on it? Did that other red one have a size on it? Well, it did too. This red one was a 36 by 48. Well, I'm going to keep those tags on for a little while because, you know, I need the sizes. I'm notorious for not writing down the sizes of these bedspreads and tablecloths and stuff, but this one was pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I really, really like the cherries on that there tablecloth. All right, so that was my haul. And I went to the post office and I and I checked my P.O. box and dad got some more cards. Oh, I'm telling you why, every time I give him one, he's like, really? P what, people are sending me things, really? So it's really touched him. So thank you so much for sending the cards to him. It really has put a smile on his face. So I really appreciate that. But as I was opening up my P.O. box, because I, I do order things and I have it sent to my P.O. box, I got some friend mail. So I'm going to go ahead, there's just a couple things. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the end of this. And this was from Colleen from uh, Pennsylvania. I've opened up the, the thing, but I haven't seen what was inside. And it says, Misty, just a little token of appreciation for all you do. Your live sales are so much fun. I always enjoy your fresh, fun merchandise. I wish you all the best. Hugs from Colleen. What did you send me, Colleen? They look like tins. I'm going to reuse your bags. Oh, cute. Pocono nutmeg. So these are little reproduction tins. But adorable. And I will put these with my collection. I will definitely put these with my collection. Okay, I can't get into this one. Let me get into you bag. Colleen, you taped it really well. Oh, Fairway brand, all spice. The little girl and a little boy on there. Then we have Columbia brand clothes. She's pretty. So these are nice muted fall earth tone colors. And I will put these in with my Thanksgiving decor. Be looking out for these. I'm going to do that decor video here very, very soon. I got to get it done first, but I will be adding those to my Thanksgiving decor. Okay. Now I have a letter here from, this is from Joelle from Oakland, California. Hmm. And it, the note says, Misty, thank you for sharing your knowledge and amazing items for your sales. And all, and of course, the last you guys are a wealth of knowledge and an amazing community. This weekend, I purchased three boxes of vintage cards and stationery. Oh, that's fun. When I came across the card with a Santa on a tin, both favorites of yours, I knew I had to send it. Then I found some Prixies and a few other things you might enjoy. I hope you do from Joelle. Oh my gosh. Look, it's me and Mark going to a party. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's sparkly. We'll have fun. And it's got the little envelope. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. Just cutting all out all the gingerbread. And saying, Merry Christmas. That's going to go in my Christmas display. That'll fit nicely into a flower frog. Oh, and some cute little gift tags. Oh, here's a little Prixie. Sitting on a mushroom. Oh, this is cute. It reminds me of Holly Hobby in a way. 
Oh, look at these Prixies. Oh my gosh, these are, um, oh, what are those little Pri Prixies called? They're from the 80s. <sighs> Herself the Elf? Is that right? That's really neat. I like that. Oh, and here's the Santa with the tin. Christmas greetings. So this will go in my displays. Best old fashioned Christmas greetings. I will use these in my Christmas display. Thank you, Joelle. That was so sweet of you. I appreciate that. Hey. All right, and then I have this. Now, Kelly from Moss Stone Story, if you're not following her YouTube channel, make sure that you go over and check it out. I will link her channel in the description down below. But she had sent me a t-shirt because she lives up near my love, Mackinac. She lives up near that area. And she went into Mackinac and got me a t-shirt and she sent it to me and it didn't fit and she bought herself a, one of the same size and we had a little laugh over it because it was a very small of that size and it didn't fit either one of us so she felt bad and I had ordered something from her live sale so I would already opened this up but it is a t-shirt that says up north Michigan so I'm probably going to wear this. Maybe on Wednesday, I'll wear this for my live sale. And then she sent me a card, a beautiful card that says, Happy Halloween. And inside, there's a magnet, Michigan. And a sticker of Michigan. And then she has a cabin up in Gaylord, Michigan. So she sent me this. I'm going to put, I have a refrigerator with all of our travel, travel things on it. So I'm going to put that on my refrigerator. Let's try this again. The Gaylord sticker or is where her cottage is. Thank you for being you. Love Kelly. So thank you so much, Kelly. And I'm going to wear that shirt. I'm going to take it home. I'm going to wash it. I'm going to wear it on Wednesday for my live sale. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. And I'm going to come up and stay with you in your cabin one day. We got to get this going because I'm, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. And then I have another, one more thing. This is from the Rustic Pearl. Okay, and it's wrapped up like a Christmas present with Santa. Um, this says, Dear Misty, when I saw this little puzzle, I instantly thought of you and your grumpy Santa collection. If this isn't your jam, feel free to sell. Just wanted to say thank you for all the help you've given so far with every, with reselling on eBay. Blessings, Christina, the rustic pedal. Oh, I didn't bring scissors over here. I'm excited to see. I love this vintage paper too. This vintage paper is fantastic. I like to wrap things in vintage paper. I don't usually sell it, my vintage paper, because I like to use it. It's just fun. Okay. Oh, look at that. Unwrap a present. This is like Christmas. Sorry, Santa, I'm ripping into your face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me just tell you, if you've been watching my channel for long enough, you, when I show this to you, you will know that this is totally my jam. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, it's a Whitman puzzle, which I love. This is amazing. Look at his face. He is the grumpiest of Santas. Why would, whoever, whoever put this together, why would they think that a child would want to see this? It says that it develops coordination and motor control, probably because they got up and they got the heck out of there when they had to put this together because Santa's so scary looking. This is so good. I, I mean, he's busy, Santa. He's busy. He's from 1972. He is definitely, definitely going in my display. <laughs> I love this. Thank you so much. This is so fun. This just made me laugh. This really made my day. Thank you so much for my creepy Santa puzzle. I love him. Thank you. And thank you everybody for sending me things. You don't ever have to do that, but I do appreciate it. It's so much fun. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure that you do give it a thumbs up. If you see anything that you like in my haul, let me know. Thrift or Junk or Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.